Not all monuments are universally beloved. Many have actually been a cause of great controversy, and rightfully so considering there are many structures around the world that commemorate slave owners, war criminals, and cruel leaders. It's not unheard of for statues to have been relocated or demolished due to pubic outcry, but there are still many monuments left standing that is up for debate. The following are just 10 of the most controversial statues the world. Learn some more about these leaders and time periods with these history lessons that your teacher probably lied to you about. Stay tuned till the end because number one and number two is really unbelievable. Let's start this video from this number 10. Mount Rushmore, South Dakota. Mount Rushmore was designed by Gutzon Borlam, an individual who eventually developed a relationship with the Ku Klux Klan. Mount Rushmore is located on sacred Sioux land that was forcibly seized. The mountain was originally known as Six Grandfathers, named after ancestral Lakota Sioux spirits. While designing the project, Borlam chose to depict four notable white men that, according to Vice, he felt were instrumental in expanding and preserving the boundaries of America. George Washington, Abraham Lincoln, Thomas Jefferson, and Theodore Roosevelt. Recognizing that the land was taken illegally from the Sioux tribe in the 1800s, the Supreme Court offered the price of the land in 1980, plus interest, but the offer was refused by the Sioux. Number 9. Stone Mountain, Atlanta, Georgia. Stone Mountain is a city near Atlanta, Georgia. It's a gateway to Stone Mountain Park, named for the vast monolith at its center. Etched into the rock side, the Confederate memorial carving depicts Civil War General Stonewall Jackson and Robert E. Lee, plus President Jefferson Davis. A trail in the Summit Skyride cable car lead to the Rock's Peak. Buildings dating back to 1793 fill the park's historic square. The massive figures carved in granite rock on Stone Mountain, just outside Atlanta, Georgia, are Jefferson Davis, the only President of the Confederate States of America, alongside Confederate Generals Robert E. Lee and Stonewall Jackson. Before he took to designing and sculpting Mount Rushmore, Gutson Borlam was hired to build a shrine to the south at Stone Mountain, featuring Robert E. Lee and Stonewall Jackson. He was later fired from the project, but that didn't stop another artist, Henry Augustus Lippmann, from continuing the project to memorialize the Confederate generals. Stone Mountain has long been considered a crucial location for the Ku Klux Klan, who held their cross burnings there in 1915 during what they considered their modern rebirth, according to the Washington Post. Number 8. Nelson's Column, Trafalgar Square, London. Nelson's Column is a monument in Trafalgar Square in the city of Westminster, central London, built to commemorate Admiral Horatio Nelson, who died at the Battle of Trafalgar in 1805. The monument was constructed between 1840 and 1843 to a design by William Railton at a cost of £47,000. He is a hero among the British for defeating French leader Napoleon Bonaparte and ensuring that Napoleon would not be invading Britain. But Nelson was also a huge supporter of the slave trade, and was what you would now call, without hesitation, a white supremacist, according to The Guardian. Number 7. Christopher Columbus Statue, Columbus Circle. A statue of Christopher Columbus was installed in Richmond, Virginia in 1927, where it stood until 2020 when it was torn down by protesters in the wake of the killing of George Floyd and thrown into a nearby lake. Christopher Columbus has notably become a more controversial figure in recent years, as he has been incorrectly credited with discovering America in 1492. A number of cities and states in the United States have swapped out the yearly Columbus Day holiday to celebrate Indigenous Peoples Day or Native American Day instead, honoring the people who have been here all along. Number 6. Captain James Cook Statue, Hyde Park, Australia. In 1874 NSW Premier Henry Parks invited sculptor Thomas Woolner to design a Captain Cook statue. Woolner had previously visited Australia in 1852. The monument was built by Cox & Sons, Thames Ditton Foundry in Surrey, the United Kingdom in 1878. The colossal statue of Captain Cook was briefly displayed in the open space nearly opposite the Athenaeum Club, in Waterloo Place, Paul Mall before being shipped to Sydney. To celebrate the dedication of the monument, a public holiday was declared by Governor Sir Hercules Robinson, and cheap railway fares were offered for those traveling into Hyde Park on Tuesday, 25th of February, 1879. Captain James Cook's statue in Australia's Hyde Park in Sydney carries an inscription that claims Cook discovered the land. Similar to the outrage over Christopher Columbus, the recognition of Cook as the discoverer of Australia ignores thousands of years of indigenous Australian history. Number 5. The Yakusuni Shrine, Tokyo, Japan. Yasukuni Shrine is a Shinto shrine located in Chiyoda, Tokyo. 
It was founded by Emperor Meiji in June 1869 and commemorates those who died in service of Japan from the Boshin War of 1868 to 1869 through the First Indochina War of 1946 to 1954. The Yakusuni Shrine was built in 1869 in order to honor those who dedicated their lives to their country. With almost 2.5 million names inscribed on the structure, there are both citizens who died for their country as well as war criminals that are commemorated, including a general directly responsible for the bombing at Pearl Harbor. A general who called for combat that ensued a massacre, killing 200,000 citizens in 1937, and the originators of Japan's alliance with Germany and Italy during World War II. Number 4. Valley of the Fallen Spain Valley of the Fallen was one of the most controversial monuments in Spain. The monument was initially erected to honor those who passed during the Spanish Civil War, but it's also where the grave of General Francisco Franco was originally located. As a former dictator of the country, he rose to power with the assistance of both Nazi Germany and fascist Italy, ruling over Spain from 1939 until his death in 1975. Franco was buried at the Valley of the Fallen after his death, and in the ensuing years, many Spaniards consider the monument a glorification of the four decades-long dictator and not of the many who gave their lives during the Spanish Civil War. His grave there had even become something of a shrine for the far right, further tarnishing the original intent of the monument. However, in 2019, Spain's socialist government upheld a promise to finally move Franco's remains. His grave was exhumed and his remains moved to a cemetery in Madrid. Number 3. The Don Juan de Oñate Statue, Alcade The statue in Alcalde, New Mexico was constructed as an homage to the man who established communities in the Upper Rio Grande area, but many see it as praising a brutal ruler who almost exterminated the Acoma Pueblo people. Juan de Oñate was a Spanish conquistador given permission to colonize land that is now known as New Mexico in 1598. According to the New York Times, Oñate and his men carried out many atrocities that resulted in the deaths of more than 800 people even ordered the amputation of the right foot of at least 24 captive men. The statue is no stranger to protests, and in June 2020 demonstrations of the statue turned violent as protesters tried to tear the monument down. This is the time for our best pick. The Brown Dog Affair was a political controversy about vivisection that raged in England from 1903 until 1910. It involved the infiltration by Swedish feminists of University of London medical lectures, pitched battles between medical students and the police, let's talk about it in number two. This monument in London has gone through a couple of iterations. To start with, the original monument was erected in memory of the little brown dog at the heart of the brown dog affair, in which allegations of animal abuse were leveraged against a medical professor at University College London in 1903 for operating on the live dog in the name of research. The first statue went up featuring a depiction of the brown pup along with an inscription detailing the abuse and called out University College London by name. The memorial caused violent riots between medical students at the college and other universities who argued that the dog had been anesthetized and that no laws had actually been broken, socialists, suffragists, and anti-vivisectionists, which resulted in its removal in 1910. But, 75 years later with a still active anti-vivisectionist movement afoot, a new statue was erected in 1985 with the same inscription that caused the original riots, while also praising continued efforts to advocate for animal rights. Before moving to the next number we just want small favor from you. Our team is working hard behind the scene and we'd love to see your reaction to our video. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel. Press the bell icon for more upcoming videos. Let ump on number 1. Joseph Stalin Statues The Berlin Stalin statue was a bronze portrayal of the Soviet leader Joseph Stalin. A Komsomol delegation had presented the sculpture to the East Berlin government on the occasion of the Third World Festival of Youth and Students in 1951. Many statues of Joseph Stalin, the former dictator of the Soviet Union, remain standing. Stalin was known to eliminate anyone in the Soviet Union who he considered to be disloyal and sent millions of his own people to forced labor camps. This is the end of this video. Share your view on this topic in the comment box. You can also watch more amazing videos on our channel here.